Apple is gearing up to release what could be its most powerful small form desktop ever, and it's called the M5 Mac Mini. At Technology Review, we're digging into all the expected upgrades, potential design shifts, hardware improvements, AI integration, and the real world impact this next generation Mac Mini could have on Apple's entire desktop lineup. If you thought the M2 and M2 Pro Mac Minis were impressive, the M5 version is poised to take performance and efficiency to another level. The Mac Mini has always been a fascinating product in Apple's lineup. It's compact, affordable, and surprisingly capable. But in 2025, Apple may use the Mac Mini to show off its next wave of silicon dominance, and the M5 chipset could turn this unassuming desktop into a serious productivity monster. Whether you're a developer, creative professional, student, or someone upgrading from Intel Macs, the M5 Mac Mini might become your best value choice for raw performance in a compact body. In this detailed video, Technology Review explores all angles of what Apple could be planning with the M5 Mac Mini. From improved silicon to updated I.O. and even smarter use of AI, we've put together the most comprehensive overview yet. Apple's M5 chip, what makes it special? The Apple M5 chip is rumored to be a significant leap over its predecessors, not just in terms of raw power, but in how it integrates AI, machine learning, and power efficiency. Built on an advanced 3 nanometers or even sub 3 nm architecture, the M5 could feature more high performance and high efficiency cores, a redesigned GPU architecture for improved graphics rendering. Apple has made it clear that AI is going to be a big part of Mac OS and its devices going forward. With the M5, we expect significantly faster AI inference, making tasks like real-time photo enhancement, background removal, live audio processing, and even intelligent window and workspace management seamless and local. Memory, storage, and configurability. One of the most requested features from Mac Mini users has been better entry-level configurations. The M1 and M2 base models often came with 8 gigabytes RAM and 256 gigabytes storage, which felt a bit limited even for casual use. With the M5 Mac Mini, Apple is expected to start with a base configuration of 16 gigabytes unified memory and 512 gigabytes SSD storage, optional upgrades to 24 gigabytes. 32 gigabytes or even 64 gigabytes memory in higher tier versions. Storage options ranging from 512 gigabytes up to 4 terabytes SSD, depending on model. This bump not only future proofs the machine for more demanding workloads, but also gives it an edge against Windows based mini PCs, which often cut corners in thermal management and system optimization. Thunderbolt 5 support for ultra-fast external storage, 8K displays, and daisy-chaining multiple high-res monitors, HDMI 2.1 for higher refresh rates and resolution output, USB-A ports for legacy support, 10 gigabits Ethernet options for pro users, 3.5 millimeters headphone jack with high impedance support. There's also a chance Apple could add front-facing ports for more convenient access something desktop users would welcome for plugging in flash drives, SD card readers, or audio gear, Mac OS, and the AI integration era. The M5 Mac Mini will likely ship with Mac OS 15 or later, bringing deeper integration of Apple's on-device intelligence. The new Mac OS is expected to include AI-assisted productivity features like auto-summarization, note organization, and calendar syncing. Enhanced Spotlight Search that understands natural language and context. Siri upgrades that work offline and respond faster. Developer tools with built-in machine learning functions and simulation capabilities. AI-based video and photo editing tools for apps like Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro. This level of integration won't just make the Mac Mini a performance machine. It will also make it smarter, more intuitive, and more responsive in day-to-day -day usage. Cooling system and thermal management. Even though the Mac Mini is small, Apple's engineering allows it to stay cool and silent even under load. With the M5 model, the internal layout might get an update for. 
improved airflow channels, and more efficient fan curves. Thicker heat sinks for heat dissipation. Possible vapor chamber cooling in pro variants. Quieter idle operation and noise optimized cooling under full performance. This makes it ideal for users who want to leave their system running in audio sensitive environments like music studios, libraries, or quiet workspaces. Price predictions and model variants. While Apple hasn't confirmed anything yet, trends from previous generations and early leaks point toward a two model strategy. M5 Mac Mini, base starting at $699. M5 Mac Mini Pro, higher end starting around $1,299. The Pro variant would likely feature better GPU performance, more RAM, and possibly an additional Thunderbolt port. Apple may position the base model for general users, students, and home offices, while the Pro version would target content creators, coders, and design professionals. Use cases that make the M5 Mac Mini stand out. So, who exactly is the M5 Mac Mini for? Video editors looking for fast timeline scrubbing and quick exports. Coders who want to compile projects and run local servers effortlessly. Designers working in Photoshop, Figma, or Illustrator. Educators and researchers analyzing large data sets or running simulations. Gamers and emulation fans seeking a quiet, power-efficient setup. Remote workers needing a small, high-performance machine that doesn't take over the desk. The M5 Mac Mini fills that sweet spot between MacBooks and Mac Studios. More powerful than most MacBooks, cheaper than the studio, and easier to upgrade and manage. Apple's hardware strategy going forward. This Mac Mini isn't just a product. It's a signal. A sign that Apple sees its silicon advantage not only as a way to differentiate from Intel, but as a platform for serious AI-driven experiences. Apple is steadily building a stack where your iPhone, iPad, Mac, and services all benefit from a shared chip architecture, better privacy, and seamless performance. That's where the M5 Mac Mini fits in, not just as a desktop, but as a central hub in a connected, intelligent ecosystem. Should you wait for the M5 Mac Mini? If you're using an Intel Mac Mini or even an M1, the upgrade to M5 will feel enormous. If you're on an M2 Mac Mini, the jump might still be worth it, depending on your workflow and whether you need AI features or more RAM and GPU power. For those planning a first-time Mac purchase in 2025, the M5 Mini could be one of the best entry points into Mac OS yet. At Technology Review, we always suggest looking beyond the spec sheet. Apple's chips don't just score high on benchmarks. They bring real efficiency gains, longer device life, and better integration with iOS and iPadOS features. And with macOS's improvements year after year, your investment in an M5 Mac Mini may pay off in more ways than just speed. Final thoughts from Technology Review. Apple's upcoming M5 Mac Mini could be one of the most exciting releases in the company's desktop category. It may not be flashy like an iMac or as massive as a Mac Pro, but its impact could be even more significant. With a focus on AI, performance, compact design, and price-to-power balance, the M5 Mac Mini could easily become Apple's most loved computer in 2025. We'll be covering every update, benchmark, hands-on, and comparison right here on Technology Review. Subscribe to stay ahead of the game and tell us in the comments. Is the M5 Mac Mini your next desktop?